Hello everyone. This is going to be question six from the Book of Questions. This is the 2013 revised edition. Uh, so question six uh, goes, this is actually two parts. It goes, how would you react if you learned that a sad and beautiful poem that touched you deeply had been written by a computer? Well, I think my reaction would be more of a, huh, interesting. Uh, I, you know, it, whether I knew before I read the poem or, or found out after, I think my reaction would be basically the same. Uh, it's either sad and beautiful or it's not. Uh, it's either going to affect me or it's not. Uh, I try not to judge the, uh, the poem or other work by who wrote it. I don't always succeed, but I think, you know, assuming that it really is sad and beautiful in my, uh, in my mind, then it's still going to be sad and beautiful whether a computer wrote it or uh, the worst example of humanity in history or a brilliant poet. It's, it, it's still going to be sad and beautiful. Um, now, I can see how a lot of people won't react the same way. They, they'll decide that they don't like it or something like that afterward when they find out. And I suppose that's their prerogative. Uh, you know, there, there are people when they find out that, say, uh, you know, a, a terrible torturer wrote beautiful uh, uh, poems they decide that those poems can't be good. They must be missing something. Or they'll look for anything that's bad about them, where they wouldn't do that uh, if they didn't have that information. So uh, I suppose there's a chance that people finding out that a computer wrote such a poem would look for every potential flaw and they'll interpret everything as, as um, unflatteringly as possible. And, and therefore, uh, they might not enjoy the poem or find it as sad and beautiful as they would have otherwise. But I think that initial reaction, and by the question you found out about it afterward, that initial reaction isn't going to go away. Even if, if you decide later that, oh, well, this wasn't so great, it will still have, have touched you deeply at the time. And, and that's important to remember. But personally, I think, oh, I, I think it would get an additional, huh, who knew, type reaction. And then I'd move on with my day. And I might seek out more stuff that was written by that same, uh, that same uh, computer. Uh, same way I might seek out stuff that was written by the same human poet. So uh, really, I, I think the reaction will be very much the same as if a human had written it. Now, the second part of the question is, how would you feel if you knew that within a century, intelligent machines would be self-aware and much smarter and more creative than humans, and why? I don't think I'd feel much, one way or the other, about self-aware machines or smarter, more creative machines. Uh, quite frankly, it's coming, uh, eventually. We're going to get there unless we destroy our civilization first or something intervenes. Some massive collection of natural disasters intervenes or something like that. Uh, so I, I'm pretty sure it's coming. Whether it's going to be within the next century, I don't know. But I think there's some pretty good odds at least we'll have a substantial breakthrough in AI and almost certainly natural language processing in that next century. Uh, so I, I, I don't think, it, I, I don't think I would, uh, I would feel much of anything uh, other than, well, maybe vindicated. I, I don't know. Uh, uh, it, uh, it's coming. I, there's, there's no question. It's coming. We're going to do it at some point. Whether it's advisable or not, we're going to do it. It's going to happen. What I'd be more concerned about is whatever agenda these self-aware AIs have. That's the thing that I'm more concerned about. I, I'm, 
I'm not particularly concerned about smarter and more creative humans wandering around on the planet. That doesn't bother me, the fact that people might be smarter or more creative than I am. Great, you're smarter than I am, you can make the cool stuff I use. You're more creative than I am, great, you can, you can write the stories that I read, you know. That's perfectly fine. I, and if that more creative, smarter individual is an AI, that's not going to change anything, you know. Uh, if you market the material uh, through a, a blind so that it's not clear that it's an AI that's doing it, I wouldn't know different and I wouldn't care. So why should I care if it turns out to be a, an AI doing it, uh, you know. Uh, but the agenda thing, knowing what the AI's agenda is, that's the thing that, that, that worries me. It also worries me about other people. So, uh, you know, I don't think this will be all that much different, except there's a very good chance that AIs are going to be much longer lived than humans are, and that gives them a much greater chance of implementing their agenda. Now, if that agenda is ultimately coexistence with humans or something like that, great, it doesn't matter. Uh, that's not going to be problematic. But what if the AI decides that humans are a problem that has to be solved? Or that they're going to they're going to uh, decide to control us for our own good, or any number of things like that. And the science fiction type people have explored this stuff at great length and continue to do so. Uh, that's the thing that worries me: uh, the the agenda and human agendas are just as problematic. Uh, we could have some wingnut dictator uh, over on the oh the. Uh, East Coast of Asia decide uh, that he wants to take over the world, that would be problematic. Just as problematic, I think, as uh, anything AIs might decide to do. So I'm just as worried about humans themselves as I am about whatever AIs we create. And quite frankly, if we create the AIs that then decide we have to go and they they then successfully outcompete us in a way that they can continue their existence they can perpetuate themselves then they will have succeeded at life basically uh, you know just like the dinosaurs no longer exist at least in their a massive, uh, terrifying form, uh, and other creatures came along and filled the void, it's entirely reasonable that uh, AIs that we create could come along and replace us in the ecosystem, or, or they could replace us as destroyers of the ecosystem. Uh, we, we won't know this, until it happens or doesn't happen. And, uh, you know, quite frankly, I don't think there's any reason to worry about it. I don't think it's going to come to pass like that in my lifetime. The breakthroughs will be, start, will be coming, starting to come in my lifetime. But the actual self-aware AIs with their own agenda, I don't think will come in my lifetime. Uh, and therefore, I'm not particularly worried about it because anything that happens after I die, I do not have to worry about because I won't be to worry about it. And, uh, you know, granted, uh, you might go, well, what about your children? Well, uh, assuming I ever have any, sure, I'll worry about it a little bit, but again, once I die, it makes no difference to me. That's pure, cold, hard logic. Uh, now, obviously, 
uh, I wouldn't want my children or anybody else's children to come into a world where AIs are destroying everything or whatever. But if we create that, we create that. What will be, will be on that front. And quite frankly, whether, we, whether anybody thinks it's a good idea or not, at some point, we are going to crack the AI thing and somebody is going to create a self-aware, smarter, more creative machine that will outthink us, will have its own agenda, and then it'll come down to what do we do about it. So hopefully it doesn't come down to humans are done, but there's a good chance it will. But there's a good chance it'll come down to humans are done because humans are stupid, too. Uh, that is, we'll do ourselves in. So, which one to worry about more? Well, I think I'd worry more about the humans doing ourselves in because that's more likely in the short term. Thus, I'm not overly concerned about AIs and, uh, and their agendas. And I'm certainly not concerned if they just happen to be self-aware, smarter, and more creative than we are. Because quite frankly, we could use all the help we can get with this world. So if they are self-aware and they, they're smarter and more creative and they have to live in this same world we do, there's a good chance they'll be our allies, at least in the short term. So there you go. Smarter, more creative, self-aware AIs. I don't think it's anything to worry about, at least not in the uh, immediate future and even if they do come about in in the next century I don't think they're going to do us in in that time frame uh, and if anything it'll probably be a net benefit at least to the planet if not to us well there you have it that's my uh, commentary on this question so uh, leave a like or a dislike if you liked or didn't like the, uh, the video. Uh, it may not help with exposure, but you know what? It does give me some idea what my viewers, all two of you, are uh, enjoying or not enjoying. If you want to be notified of future videos, make sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. Uh, subscribing is fine if you're going to check back to the site all the time, but if you turn on notifications, it'll actually tell you about a new video, at least in theory. And if you've watched this far, thanks for watching.